that's the third bass and they all looked about that size in that same spot right there i mean technically it could be the same one but the first one bit it and i hung it look at there it is the same fish it's got my beetle spin in his mouth oh my god you gotta be kidding there is no way welcome back guys it is a gloomy rainy wet little chilly kind of day i am walking out here i'm at edmund orgill park out here north of millington tennessee uh, i'm fixing to do some bank fishing because the winds today are going to be upwards around 40 miles an hour here in just a few they're already gusting pretty strong uh, but today's going to be a threefer i'm going to give you a couple of alternative places to fish this weekend uh, starting off a uh, weekend before last I went out to Herb Parsons and uh, caught some crappie a couple of bass but uh, I was trying to focus on crappie and the crappie are biting they're about midways in the backs of the coves or they were two weeks ago I couldn't catch any of them on the stake beds I tried I brought my jig pole to jig the stake beds they weren't in there and so um, I ended up having to cast with my jig pole because I didn't bring my ultralight. But check these fish out and then come back to me. Maybe by then I'll have a fish on out here. Well, good morning, guys. I am at Herb Parsons Lake in West Tennessee. I've got my trusty bag of gulp minnows. If you guys know me, you know I love these things. They definitely make your hands smell pretty rough. Ooh, got one. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, they're bluegill. Look. <laughs> bluegill are in the crappie steaks. That's what it felt like was biting. Almost big enough to fillet. That's got to be bluegill that's doing all that. I should have brought crickets. Ooh, I got him. Wow. What have I got? I got a giant crappie, guys. I mean, I got a giant crappie. Wow. It was crappie. This is a big one. Yeah, let me net this guy. I was wondering if that was crappie up in here shallow. And it was. Dang it, guys. Look at that. That's a nice white crappie. All right, first one's on. I found them. There's some back in here in the shallow flats. Oh, I got him right there. It's right under the boat. There we go. I found him. This one's a little guy. It's not a very big crappie. But they're here. They're, I got the boat right on top of them. Another big white crappie. He's got some eggs in him. Nice, nicely done.
just got him. Not a very big guy. But he'll do. Oh yeah, he's not a bad bass. <laughs> There we go. Not full of eggs, though. Oh, there he was. Crappie. Nice crappie, too. Look, I told you, right here in the middle in that three foot of water. Let me see if I can't net this guy. Got him. Another nice white crop, you guys. I'm telling you, they're in here. Staged in the flats. That one must be a male. There's no eggs in that guy. I'm getting pretty good at casting this 10 foot long freaking jig pole. Ooh, there's a fish too. I got him. Ooh. Oh, he's not that big, but he's a, no, he's a nice crappie. Nice size crappie. Or is that a bass? That is a bass. Dang. I thought that was a crappie. Whoa. Get him in the boat. <laughs> I got another bass, but that one's on the gulp. Not a bad little fish. Ended up with three crappie and two bass. Wow, there's fish jumping out everywhere. There's a fish that jumped out way over there. I don't know what in the world those are. To be jumping all the way out of the water like that in this little pond. Ooh, I got him too, whatever that is. That was a healthy fish. Oh, man, that's a nice bass. Nice bass. <laughs> Dang, look at that. On the beetle spin. What? That is crazy. Awesome fish. All right, guys. I'm, I finally figured out these bass out here at Edmund Orgel Park. I think this is called Casper Lake. But anyways, this is the second bass I've caught. Um, this one came off a of beetle spin. Uh, as did the last one I was getting them to hit on a white spinnerbait. So I just downsized it and look I mean they're they're hitting hard So I think we're fixing to do some good uh, But before we get into the rest of here I will say at Herb Parsons When I was getting ready to leave man, there were so many people it was unbelievable I couldn't even barely fish and I like to fish and 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 get out by myself and enjoy time away from people i spend all week around a bunch of people and so that's not really my cup of tea but if you like a big crowd go there on saturday if you want to avoid the crowd there seems to be far less people there on sunday but i want to introduce you to another lake and this is uh, a private pond is what this is but it's owned by jones's orchard uh, jones's orchard is out between uh uh, right off of highway 51 to the east of highway 51 and they actually have a pond on their property and you could stop by their booth and buy a five dollar permit and fish their pond but check out these fish dad and i caught back a couple weeks ago that's what i'm saying there's a million watch this going across all them logs there he is got him got him got him it's a bass it's a good bass look at him he ain't that good, but he's a keeper. Bigger than that last one. Look. <laughs> and the geese are flying in, or flying out. Yep, that's a Oh, I got one already. Look at that. No, bass. I threw in there on that thing and I caught a bass as soon as it hit the water. Like I let it just sink on this log and immediately caught a bass. That black and sartreuse. Yeah. Something bright color. Hey, I think he's filetable, ain't he? I got him. Do you? Yeah. Crappie? No, you got a little bass too. Huh. Thing is full of bass. Well, I mean, look hey, that's a double. <laughs> look at 
place you got a bite. Yeah. Cool. There he was. Look over there. Look at that. That dude was running. Did see how close to the bank I had to throw to get him? That's what I'm saying. We're not fishing close enough. These bass are right up against the bank. They're the small ones. You see how close I was? I'm telling you, look. Let me do it again on this side. Look, right there. Told you. Look, right down the bank is where they're at. They're right against the bank. I mean, these are little fish, but still, that tells you where they're at. They're feeding up close. Let me do it again. I think you need to be able to throw like this or you're not going to get them. <laughs> you didn't know you were coming to a concert. We got free music out here. This is very American fishing. I mean, we got to catch a fish now. You guys are making entirely too much noise. All right, Dad, you're going to throw down this way and behind you. But though, yeah, just like that, and hold your rod tip left. Like the further off the bank you get, the worse it is. There he was. Oh, oh look at that little old bitty guy. Do it again. Yeah, he was hitting it. Well, this was our first time to hit this pond. Jones's Orchard is between Singleton Parkway and Highway 51, just south of 385. This pond is actually north of 385 and you can access it by Raleigh Millington Road. If you get on Raleigh Millington and go just north of 385, there'll be an access road on your right. And again, if you just go to either of the Jones's Orchard produce stands, one is on Singleton Parkway, one is on Highway 51, you can buy a $5 permit to fish this pond. There's plenty of good bank fishing. We've caught quite a few little bass. This was an extremely cold day, so I would imagine in the summer the fishing would be a lot different. There were a lot of bluegill biting. We didn't catch any crappie, but there were tons of bass. This is just a unique, different place to go if you're just looking for something different. All right, guys, if you were out here fishing the bank, Watch out for these guys, they're everywhere. Like, these fire ants, like that right there is bad news. Like, I'm not sure if you could see it, but those guys right there will light you up. Don't step on that. All right, so I'm pretty sure I just had a crappie nail a full-size spinnerbait right there. So I'm switched over to a beetle spin, which is the spinnerbait's little cousin. 
and I'm going to put on one of these little white curly tails like this. And that is the finished product. So if that was in fact a crappie, and again I couldn't tell, I had about a two pound bass hit it like right there, and another fish hit it back over there, and then one hit it right in front of this grass, and I could have swore it looked like a it looked like a pretty good sized crappie. I'm not sure I've never caught a crappie in this lake, but I know that they're in here. And I think he should be right in there. Whatever it was, it was like right in there. Oh yeah, one. Oh, he got it right there. Dang. That was there was two two bites right there. Oh, there he is. I got that one. That feels like a bass though. It is. It's a bass. <laughs> Well, I figured out what the fish are. Large mouth bass. Now, I'm pretty sure that still look like a crappie over here, but I'm going to try it again. All right, so what'd you think of uh, Jones's Orchard's little pond? I hear they've got some decent crappie in there. I don't know if we went on a bad day or we just sucked at fishing that day but we did end up catching quite a few little bass most of them were way too small to keep but it's a neat little pond to fish if you're just looking to do something different you could take a kayak out there or a little john boat in the bed of your truck i didn't really see anywhere if you to launch a boat um you probably could if you had a really small one but if you're looking for somewhere to bank fish, especially on these windy days, Edmund Orgel out here, great place. Lots of bank fishing. Jones's Orchard, great bank fishing. Herb Parsons got some great bank fishing. There's a lot of people bank fishing. So, anyways, guys, get out, try these lakes. They're awesome. I am tearing these fish up on this beetle spin. I've tried to throw a spinner bait because a couple of these bass were pretty big that got off. I've lost several that were around two, three pounds on this thing. Um, and I don't know if they're just biting funny or I'm just not hooking them very well. Either way, it's a whole lot of fun. So if you come out here, bring a beetle spin with you. This is fantastic. Some kind of fish is hugging this grass, but those nicer sized bass are out like that on this flat you throw way out and reel it back and maybe they're i don't know if they're hanging out at the oh there he was oh he didn't hold it dang they're hanging out right i guess where the drop off is out there that looked like a pretty decent fish right there i was trying to get my blades to spin there they go see if i can't get that fish to bite again oh yeah there he goes oh this one's better than that last one dang, dang. This pole makes them feel giant. That's still a pretty good bass. Pound and a half anyway. Two pounds maybe. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> I'd say pound and a half anyway. Still right off this point in the Frisbee Golf area. Nice fish. That fish came back and hit it like I had him one cast and threw back in there and either he had a buddy or he bit again. Let's find out. He might have a few buddies hanging out out there. We'll see. Oh, yeah, he did too. Cause look, there's another one. A little bit smaller guy. <laughs> That's fantastic. These old gloomy days are really good for catching bass, guys. Y'all get out here and get them. So guys, one of the things I like to do on these beetle spins is I don't use the jig that comes in the box. I always put like a white curly tail or some kind of tail with some action on it. That's just my preference. If you've watched any of my videos when I'm fishing them, you'll know I always put a white curly tail on or something. Some kind of tail with some action. Just to see 
They could be way out. I don't know. Ooh, I got him. Oh, man. I, I hadn't been throwing away out since I got down to this deeper water. I guess that was a mistake. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Man, I like how these are rocks all the way down the bank. That's kind of some good structure. Wow. There is a bald eagle right there. That is nuts. He just flew right out of the tree behind me. He just flew out of those pines. What? That is nuts. I don't know if I just spooked him or what. He's flying back around. Coming back in the backside. Wow. That's nuts. Oh, wow, that was a good fish. Oh, when <laughs> he bit good. <laughs> the little guy. I've been here in this super shallow water. Oh, there he was. Dang. That bass was right on the edge of the grass. Not a bad one either. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. He choked that dude, too, man. Look at that. That guy choked it. Now, this guy is very colorful. If you want to know what those black spots are, that's just from parasites. They get flukes, which is a little worm. Little parasites cause those imperfections in their color. They'll lose them as they lose the parasite, but a lot of bass and a lot of lakes out here have them. They're not really harmful to us. Edmund Orga Park. You got some paws right here if you want to read it. All right, so if you come to Edmund Orga Park, I think this is called Casper Lake. The bass have to be 16 inches to keep it, and you can only keep two per person. There he was, got him. Ooh, not a bad fish. Not a giant, but not a bad one. Look at that. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this guy looks like he's post-spawn. See the flat belly? That guy's already dropped some eggs. Or that, that girl just dropped some eggs. Man, this looks, I would have thought this bank would have been steeper, but it looks like it's fairly shallow way out right here. There, there he was too, that was a good fish. Oh, he came off. Oh man, that was about a two pounder. I saw that fish. Dang, I guess I didn't hook him very good. Dang, that sucks. That was a healthy fish. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I broke it off, I'll be damned. I broke it off. Well, that was only a matter of time, I think. I only had one beetle spin with me today, and I just broke it off on about a two-pounder. 
I hung two of them right there. The first one got off, and the second one I set the hook and just popped it. So I either had a bad spot in my line or a bad knot because I set the hook and lost that fish quick. But those two fish were more than big enough to eat this spinnerbait. So I'm going to give this a whirl and see if it's not too big. I think it's probably going to be too big for most of these fish to bite. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway. We'll see. It's going to be hard to land it. There he was. Oh, man, it only took like two casts. Oh, man, look at what a fish, too. Wow. Awesome. Look at that. I'm telling you, that's the third fish that size out of that spot. That's the third bass. And they all looked about that size in that same spot right there. I mean, technically it could be the same one, but the first one bit it and I hung it. Look at there. It is the same fish. It's got my beetle spin in his mouth. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding. There is no way. Guys, I am not kidding. That is my beetle spin in there. Do you see that white jig? I just put that on, just lost this fish, broke it off and caught him. I thought it was a whole new fish. It was not, it's the same fish. Broke off my beetle spin, threw back in and caught him on a spinner bait. How freaking nuts is that? So, I got my beetle spin out of the fish, so save the fish and save my beetle spin. Is that not crazy as hell? I've never in my life had that happen. That's nuts. Well, I'm going to keep throwing the spinner bait for a minute, and then I'll throw this back on. <laughs> Since I recovered it out of a fish, I'll throw this back on in a bit. seems to be a good distance off the bank if I can just there he was too got him oh man that's a decent fish he's pulling drag he's pulling drag that's a healthy one that's a healthy one oh yeah Woo -wee. that's a nice size fish two pounder anyway I'll take that all day long Ooh, there he was as soon as it hit the water way down there nice size fish too oh yeah nice size fish dang this is about a two three pounder right here guys he looked at about a three pounder when he jumped out yeah yeah good size fish at least a two. Oh yeah this one's still full of eggs that's why this one weighs heavier look that's a three pound bass all day long. Still plump, full of eggs. Let's get her back in the water. On that same spinner bait, nicely done. I must have thrown right on that girl's head. She was only like five foot off the bank too. The wind is blowing almost too hard to fish this side uh, from the bank. Who there he was too, got him. Not a very big one. But right on the edge. See, that's about as small as you're going to get on a booyah on one of these spinner baits.
Man, that wind's blowing a little bit too hard now. Oop, there he was, got him. Ooh, nice fish too. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh yeah, decent fish anyway. Yep. See, on another pound and a half. Got a bunch of the, you can see the parasites in that one's tail. Ooh, there's a snake coming into the bank. That's one thing about bank fishing. Look at that guy. He's coming right on in here, ain't he? We don't care that I'm here. That is nuts. Look. See him, there he goes. That's one thing about bank fishing you gotta watch out for. All right guys, so Edmund Orgel Park out here does have an actual real boat ramp, like a concrete boat ramp. You can launch any boat on it. It's a little bit shallow on the boat ramp, but you can launch any boat. I've seen giant bass boats out here. So you don't have to come bank fishing. I just wanted to because the wind was blowing so hard. And until next time, hey man, y'all get out and do some fishing. Especially these old gloomy days like this. I caught way more fish today in the rain and the wind at Edmond than I did at either of those other two lakes. It's been killer. Weather is the biggest contributor, I think, to the success of the, of, of the actual fishing. We needed that rain. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Y'all have a good one.